Welcome to Yukon and North 61. I wanted to talk a little bit about uh, footwear. So uh, right now I'm wearing Tangley's with moccasins over. And uh, moccasins are great. They're light, and but they're, they're insulated. You can put felt liners in them. And, uh, but they are a dry, cold kind of uh, foot gear. Sometimes it gets above zero Fahrenheit, minus 18. Sometimes you go through overflow. Sometimes you need grip. So that's where these tinglys really come in handy. So uh, we'll talk a little bit about that today. I'm really impressed with the grip of these tinglys. So they're just a soft rubber over boot that I got over my moccasins or my clutch. And uh, I've been going up pretty steep stuff here. with uh, a lot of success. That's the overboot and it's very soft rubber. So it's really grippy on the bottom. I'm really impressed with that. And there's my uh, moosehide moccasins. When I was a kid, my sister bought me a pair of moosehide moccasins, but they were Indian tan. So they had that beautiful smoke smell and I wore them everywhere. I wore them out, I resold them with cowhide they were so slippery, it was unbelievable, but I wore them for about four years. They're light and they're warm when it's cold because they breathe. So when it's minus 40, there's nothing like this. So you have, uh, I have a big piece of uh, felt on the bottom as an insole. And then I have a felt, sort of a felted wool liner and then socks. So that breathes. And they don't get wet when it's dry. But as soon as it's transitional temperature, or if you have to go over overflow, you get wet, unless you got an overboot on them. And they sell moccasin uh, slippers. You can, you, can, you can put them right on the bottom, or Steiger makes mucklucks that have a, have a kind of a rubberized bottom, but that still doesn't protect you from water. So taking these at eight ounce each, probably less than eight ounces, so under a pound for the the pair of them. And you still have really, really light so, uh, footwear. And I have been going up hills and stuff, and this little tread pattern really makes a difference. They're such a soft rubber, they stay supple to minus 40, that they just form fit to your moccasins. And uh, it allows you to use one set of footwear for all types of conditions. And especially when you're snowshoeing, or I'm waiting for a new pair of Berwin binding because I broke my old pair for skiing so that you can ski in your in your uh, footwear that takes you down to minus 40 instead of ski boots, which takes you down to about minus 20 centigrade, zero Fahrenheit. So uh, anyway, and I think these are called, I might pronounce it wrong, um, Tingley's. And these are the XX large Tingley's. T-I-N-G-L-E-Y, Tingley Regulars, made in Mexico. Uh, pretty great. I've got uh, four anoraks, and here's, the, here's what you look for in all your anoraks. Number one, no insulation, just windproof. This one's poly cotton. Two, kangaroo jacket, kangaroo pocket, rather, as they say in Saskatchewan. So you just, if you're, if you're done with your hat or your mitts, you just put them in there, and they don't fall out. Chest pocket. Why a chest pocket? I put my mini binoculars in that chest pocket with a zipper or some other means of closure. And multiple closures. So on this one, I put a little antler tip from one of my moose and a nice hood with a ruff. When it's windy, that keeps the wind off you. And the reason for being uninsulated is your insulation, you fine tune to the weather underneath. So in this case, I am simply wearing a Swazi fleece and a little merino. And uh, you know, the great thing about how this can moderate your temperatures is when it's warm out, you've just bent and now you got the chimney thing going up here and taking all the warm, hot air out. And then when it's cold, you shut that off. And you also want to have some way of closing off the waste. And then you keep all your, you keep, create a bubble of hot air. 
So having this simple garment is really, uh, when you're walking or creating sweat, this is the way to regulate your temperature. You don't want an insulated outer. You want an uninsulated, um, what do they call these? They call them an anorak. I think in the, uh, I think in Britain, they call it a smock. This is what you want to have for when you're working hard in the outdoors in the winter time. Every time I take this 900 e Scandic out, I'm more impressed with it. That 900 e four-stroke engine, 90 horsepower, when you got it in sport mode, it's got instant uh, torque and acceleration at the mid-range. Uh, so when you're, and it's got the 20-inch track, which I think is perfect because you've got a super wide track with a 24 inch track, which is so wide it's hard to hard to ride without getting uh, bull legged. So uh, as soon as you're hit overflow with this machine and your back end starts to bogging down a bit, you just hit that throttle and away you go. Uh, amazing torque and lots of power. Very impressed. Very, very impressed. Big, big wide keys give you lots of flotation at the front, and in fact, the whole wedge at the front in deep snow acts like a big snowshoe. Really well designed machine, I love it. So, this is what we're driving through. It's uh, so we're just deciding whether it's worth going on or uh, or going back home with our tail between our legs because we've been stuck quite a few times. We passed a party or a party passed us and then got totally stuck. The guy fell off the skidoo and the whole bit because it's really weird here. A lot of overflow. It was super cold. We didn't expect this. Now it's really warm and there, but there's been so much snow. It's depressing the ice and all the whole thing is full of overflow, full of, full of water underneath the ice here. Really hard. There goes my baby. She knows how to rock and roll, she'll drive me crazy. Yeah.